Hey guys, this is Apple Maps here and um <clears throat> from Dr. Wazi and today I got a uncharted, a very special uncharted co-op arena gameplay and I'm gonna be playing with um <clears throat> sorry. Um Goddard and Aya seven two five. So it's a um try sort of thing. So you know co-op arena is really useful with three players, you can do a lot and it's a lot easier to get to the last round. So we actually do not get to the last round because um, as you'll see in the last episode of this series, um, you know, basically somebody abandons us and then, uh, we're left with two players and we can't, we just can't comply. So, just please enjoy this, and this is gonna be broken up into four episodes, and, um, because each, in each episode is gonna be about ten minutes, so, um, today I'm not gonna be talking about the gameplay, um, or, you know, the co-op that much except for the, the special moments that sometimes happen i'm gonna be talking about anonymous targeting sony once again and uh, if you don't know anonymous is the um sort of hacking group a hacker group um and they're behind a lot of massive security breaches and if you don't if you don't know last time they were involved in a very big a sony playstation network hack which um, resulted in a shutdown of the PlayStation Network for, I think, about two weeks. And that's what Anonymous does. And, um, yeah, now um, I'm reading this article right now, actually, and it's a Yahoo article. And it says, Anonymous is targeting Sony once again. So, th this is basically about this... Um, this legislation, piece of legislation, as it's called, um, called SOPA, S-O-P-A, and S-O-P-A is basically, um, let me read this. So, it's, a um, it's, it stands for Stop Online Piracy Act, and it's currently being debated, and oh, it gives copyright holders, so... Um, the power to take legal action when it discovers, this is all quote from the article, so would give a copyright holders the power to take legal action when it discovers a site is infringing upon that copyright. Um, so that's that. So actions could include demanding that search engines and social networking sites block access to the site and advertisers ceasing doing business with this Q site and internet service providers blocking access entirely so basically what they're saying is um so if a company that has a copyright a legal copyright on something um and they find that another website is using their something without their permission they could basically shut down their website or shut down their anything so so I don't know if you know YouTube applies to this or anything cuz I if YouTube does apply to this it's basically saying that uh, if if one of your videos has music that you don't own or you don't have the permission to use they could shut your channel down that's basically what SOPA is um, I guess, but I don't know if the if it applies to YouTube or anything, so just put a comment if I'm right or wrong. But, uh, yeah, um, so Anonymous is, um, so this is a quote from Anonymous, um, what they actually said, um, it's a message, so, quote, Your support to the act is a signed death warrant to Sony Company and Associates. Therefore, yet again, we have decided to destroy your network, we will dismantle your phantom from the internet, Prepare to be extinguished. Justice will be swift, and it will be for the people, whether some like it or not. Sony, you have been warned. Um. Yeah, that's pretty intense, but I really don't think Anonymous should do this. I mean, I don't think they should go this far. I mean, if if this applies to YouTube, I mean, uh, if one of our videos has music that we don't know or don't have permission to use. And they could just shut us down. That's not fair. I don't think that would be right to do, and I don't think Sopa is right for that part. But you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shut down a multi-billion-dollar company's network just just for that. So you know, I, Anonymous has always been on this far side. They're always doing, you know, 
I think they've um, uh, targeted Facebook and a lot of social networking sites before. And yeah. Yeah, we should be in this article. So that's basically it. That's anonymous. Um, so let me talk about the gameplay. And before I talk about this, um, just just uh, put a comment um, saying what you think of anonymous and what you think of the SOPA, S O P A, and I'll appreciate that. And I'll read them all. So no, just put a comment. Um, so this is um, what round are we on? Uh, we're on, yeah, I don't know, but, um, this is Siege, so we have to stay inside of the territory, and I think it's wave th two or three, so it's pretty easy right now, but, uh, there's nothing much to talk about. Um, alright. So, I'm gonna be talking about another thing, which is called The Last of Us, and The Last of Us is a, um, a new game by Naughty Dog, and if you don't know, Naughty Dog is the company that um, has worked with Sony on um, Uncharted, all the Uncharted games, and they're really well known for that. So now that they're they're using the same engine and everything, you know, the same graphics, I guess, to make a new game called The Last of Us. And The Last of Us, it is like a zombie type game, and I'm not sure. It's it's not really zombies. It's just um. You know, it's like a quarantine. There's um, a lot of people got infected with this virus, and uh, you know, it's one of those games. So I don't know. The, the past trailers has hasn't. They don't really tell anything about the game. You know, if it's gonna have multiplayer, if it's gonna, what the story's about. I mean, the story's about. Um, if you watch the trailer, I put the I put a link to the trailer in the description below. But um, it's about a girl and. Her father, I'm guessing, but I'm not totally sure. And um, I think they're the only ones left, or they think they're the only ones left in this quarantine community where everyone's like a, a zombie or whatnot. And they have to fight their way to survive. So, you know, I don't know what type of zombies. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with a zombies game. You can do something like Call of Duty Black Ops zombies, or Left for Dead. You could do anything. So. I don't know how what it's gonna be, but I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty unique and it's gonna be something different that we don't usually have, cause it is Naughty Dog and looking at these Uncharted games is amazing. Um, you know the storyline and the, the multiplayer advances every game. You know, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something different. But uh, The Last of Us, I forgot when it's coming out, but. Um, there was actually a um, Easter egg for The Last of Us in uh, Uncharted 3, and I might show that to you someday. Oh, look at me just uh, reviving these guys. Um, God, I just got that one. Um, but I think there was a sneak peek in Uncharted 3, and so it was pretty clear that they were just they were planning this game for a long time. And I'll show that to you. I'll show the sneak peek to you um, soon. In a video, I'll try to at least. Um, it's it's just a in the first level, another round. That's chapter one, I think. It's just there's a magazine and it says a lot of stuff about the quarantine and the uh, infected and um, yeah, um, the virus. So I'll show that to you another time. So um, this is round three complete. We're now going on to round four. We haven't had much trouble at all. Um, going up these rounds, and um, it, it's just round six and above. They get, they just get challenging. But uh, right now it's pretty easy, and I'm in the lead. Lead as in I have the most points. Um, uh, Goddard has four thousand five hundred eighty-five. I have six thousand, and uh, Aya has four thousand six hundred. Um, so the siege is up here now, and it, it's sometimes a good thing because you have the high point, but then, as as it goes to round uh, like uh, like nine and ten, there's all these buff guys with pack eighties, um, machine guns, and they they can come up here and it's a really small space, so there's not much you can do, and it it gets it gets annoying. And there's not much cover either, just these walls on the side, and it's not much use if there's guys behind you, so. 
but it's pretty good for these rounds, the early rounds. But uh, anyway, um, got my sniper. And if you don't know, kickbacks in Uncharted Three, they're kind of like kill streaks, except they're a much different system. Um, so you basically you get medals, and you can get a medal for a lot of different reasons. Um, oh, choker guy got me there. Um, so you can get a medal for, um, let's say, there's this medal called, uh, Punch Out, and that's when you, um, I th I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I think you melee a lot of guys in a row, and that's what Punch Out is, and, and on the top left, you can see, <coughs> you can see, um, it says zero out of seven, and so basically I need seven medals to get that sniper so that I can activate my metal kickback and I can get my sniper. So that though that's how metal kickbacks work. And I think they're they're like kill streaks, but they're a lot more it, there's a lot more uh it's it's different, you know, from Call of Duty kill streaks. It's a lot different and uh it's it's enjoyable. It is. Cause there's a lot of different medals you can get. Uh, like uh, long gun fever. That's when you just use your uh, uh, long gun or rifle a lot and get a lot of long range kills with that. There's a lot. Like even with a sniper, you can get metal kickbacks. And uh, so right now, really, I'm I have the most points by kind of a lot. Um, you know, it's seven thousand, and I was next up with five thousand. Um. So I'm gonna end this video right here, and uh, I'm gonna do part two later on, and I'll upload that another time. Um, you know, please leave a comment um, about what the next topic is gonna be for the part two, and uh, you know, comment, subscribe, please comment. That that'll help a lot. You know, and then comment, subscribe, please um, add to favorites. It would really help us out. And then, yeah, until next time, bye bye.